what is freedom? You know, freedom is such a big idea and a big concept. Just to share a couple of ideas, these are my thoughts, there's no official definition. For me, freedom is to know who you are and to live that thing, to live in resonance and congruence with who you are in your core, in your soul, and to live in the world like that. Freedom is to be able to speak your truth, to speak what is in your heart, what you think, what you feel, what you believe. Freedom is to move freely wherever your body is calling you, wherever your heart wants to wander and to roam. Freedom means to choose your life purpose, your life direction, your path. Freedom is not only a, a right, but it's also a responsibility. We are free to be responsible for ourselves, for the earth, for the community we live in. Freedom is following the natural flow of life. Freedom for me is everything and is one of the most important elements, ingredients of a fulfilled and happy life. But how many of us are really free? How can we, how many of us can put the hand on our heart and say, yes, I'm free, I feel free. Unfortunately, from my experience, my own experience about my own life and what I see around me, the big majority of people are not free. And unfortunately, it's not that we don't live independent lives, because independence, for me, it's a little bit different than freedom. We can have financial independence, we can have, you know, resources to live, to choose whatever we want, but do we really feel free in our heart? Unfortunately, I think humanity and humans have lost, gradually lost their freedom. Because back in the days, thousands of years ago, in our hunter-gatherer times, we were free beings to wander and to roam on the earth and to find the places where we want to settle and where we wanted to live. We were living in direct communion with the earth. Were they easy times? Definitely not. They were really hard and challenging times, really hard to make it and to survive. But I believe that our ancestors were really free. But then, with the development of agriculture, the development of villages, cities, kingdoms, countries, empires, human beings lost their initial freedom and they became dependent on agriculture, dependent on uh, different social systems that developed throughout times in order to, you know, facilitate a good life in the community. But at the same time, this has gradually, gradually stolen, taken away our freedom. And I can say this because often I have many moments in which I don't feel free. I feel very, you know, um, trapped in a way in the modern system that dictates the way I need to live my life. And the moments of total freedom are rather, sometimes unfortunately, rather an exception. But I want to live more mindfully, I want to live a more free and independent uh, life. Yeah. These beings around me are free. The birds around me that sing so beautifully are free to be themselves, to live the way they want to live. 
I think it's harder, it's hard to become again hunter-gatherers at a global scale because it's just simply impossible. But we really need to rethink our freedom and the way we live our lives. Because too often I see uh, many, you know, uh, children and young, young adults that are conforming maybe to um, the ways of life imposed by their parents. We too often take decisions based not on our hearts and what makes us fully alive, but we take decisions based on what society wants from us, what media is telling us to do, what Facebook, what YouTube is telling us to do. And we, unfortunately, can get into this rat wheel in which we circle around and we live our lives thinking that we live our true lives, but actually they are uh, lives that we cannot call our true lives. And how can we become more free? I think uh, it's a personal journey for each of, each of us. But a couple of things that can help us, can help me, can help you, to get more in touch with our freedom is to immerse ourselves in wild places. Because in the wilderness there is freedom. In wilderness we can experience, we can feel the source of freedom. A place in which every being is behaving naturally, freely. Every being is wild, untamed. So we really need to rewild ourselves, to rewild our psyches, to rewild our bodies, to get in touch with earth energy, which is the source of freedom. Another thing that we can do is to discover and to know, to deeply know in our bones who we really are. Who am I in my core? And then to leave that out into the world. What are my gifts, my passions, my talents, my values? Who was I born to be, to become on this earth? And then, once I discover that, to commit ourselves that I'm going to leave out, I'm going to manifest my essence. And I'm going to leave behind all the conditions, all the conditioning that has been put in my psyche by my parents, by school, by society, by religion, by magazines, by media, and so on. Another thing that we can do is to put freedom in the top of my value list. To decide freedom is important and I want to live a free life. But here are some, uh, you know, uh, question marks because living freely, being a free person doesn't mean necessarily living easier with more comfort and uh, more goods around us, with more money. Maybe it can be sometimes, at times, the opposite. Living freely may be more challenging, more difficult for the, for the ego. But deeply in our heart, it's more fulfilling. That's the real way of, of being. Yeah. And then another thing that we can do is to make a practice of speaking the truth, speaking our own truth. Yeah, if I feel that uh, I don't like this food, just say it, I don't like this food. I don't like this music, I don't want to be here. If your truth is, yeah, I'm, I believe in Buddha or I'm a Muslim or I'm a Christian, if that is your truth, speak it out. 
uh, and yeah, I say it, if you are, I don't know, whatever your truth is, just speak it out. Make a practice from speaking the truth. If there's something that you believe about your life partner, about your friends, about politics, just speak it out. Feel empowered to do that. It may be, uh, you know, disturbing for some people. But in this way, you and I can make, you know, order between what is real and what is not, between what is important and what is not, between what it really is free and what is not. So let's be free, my friends, and let's live a healthy, meaningful, and happy, joyous life.